वेलकम टू द ऑनलाइन लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ हीट एंड मास ट्रांसफर हियर इज प्रोफेसर लक्ष्मण माने दिस इज अ वीडियो सेशन ऑन न्यूमेरिकल ऑन हीट ट्रांसफर थ्रू कंपोजिट वॉल इन दिस सेशन यू विल बी एबल टू एक्सप्लेन न्यूमेरिकल ऑन composite wall so this is first numerical on composite wall so statement is given an exterior wall of house is made by a 100 mm thickness layer of common brick with thermal conductivity 0.7 watt per meter degree celsius followed by 40 mm layer of gypsum plaster with thermal conductivity k is 0.48 watt per meter degree celsius what is thickness of rock wool insulation with thermal conductivity k is equal to 0.065 watt per meter degree celsius should be added to reduce the heat loss through the wall to 75% so in this numerical mainly there are two layers of the material in the wall so here in this diagram you can see here this is a first layer of material brick its thermal conductivity is given 0.7 and this second layer is of gypsum material its thermal conductivity is 0.48 dimension of this layer that is thickness b1 and b2 first is layer is of 100 mm means 0.1 meter and second layer is of 40 mm means 0.04 meter now here we are going to use concept of thermal resistance so for that here we will have this diagram so this is a first material for that thermal resistance is r1 and for the second layer there is a resistance r2 now in this numerical what is asked that what is thickness of rock wool insulation that is the third layer that we will add here on the right side at its thermal conductivity is given here so for the 75% heat loss reduction thickness of this third layer is to be calculated so for that here we will have in the solution we will divide this numerical into two parts so we say here case 1 that is a when rock wool insulation is not used rock wool insulation is not used okay so for this now we will have here we know that general formula that is heat formula q which is going to pass through this structure composite structure so this is what heat transfer taking place that is total heat transfer q now here for the case 1 we will take this as a q1 so what is the formula of q by the thermal resistance concept it is q1 is equal to delta t means temperature difference divided by summation of resistances now here are two layers so already we have discussed here are two resistances so in this we can write delta t upon two resistances sum means r1 plus r2 
then next delta t now for the wall structure thermal resistance formula is b upon ka so first for first layer it will be what b1 upon k1 means thermal conductivity into a now area will be all the layers means this is a area which is perpendicular to this direction of heat so this area is the same at this this and this interface so that's why here a will come plus second layer thickness is b2 divided by thermal conductivity of this layer is k2 into a now this is a formula of q1 now we will put the values so putting the values here we can have is equal to delta t divided by b1 means first layer for the reference we will have here this diagram so this is a 0.1 meter b1 and b2 is 0.04 so b1 is 0.1 divided by thermal conductivity of the first layer is given 0 0.7 0 0.7 times a plus b2 is 0 0.04 divided by second layer thermal conductivity is given here 0 0.48 so 0 0.48 into 0 0.48 times a now here this a we can take common and we can modify this equation then this 1 divided by 1 divided by a that means a so here what will come a into delta t divided by 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.7 plus 0 0.0 4 divided by 0.48 so now this next step of the calculation so this calculation on the calci will directly I am writing by the calculating and this calculation comes 0.0833 so here we get a delta t divided by these two values then sum of this we will have here this so by doing calculation reciprocal of this we will find q1 is equal to 4.42 times a into delta t so we will say this as equation number one now we will take case number two that is with insulation so insulation is of rock well so that rock well insulation is given so that layer we have to add so for that purpose here we will see the diagram this is a brick layer already this is a gypsum layer and third layer if we add that is of material given rock well its thermal conductivity is given so we have to find dimension of this that is b3 now in this case here will be three layers so here r1 and r2 are two thermal resistances already third thermal resistance is r3 that comes here because of this insulation now similarly we will use the formula so for the case 2 with insulation 
in the numerical what is given if the rockwell insulation is used then heat transfer loss heat loss will be reduced by 75% of without insulation without insulation is heat transfer q1 and with insulation is q2 so there we we can write relation q2 is equal to 75 times q1 means 0.75 times q1 now this q2 is a heat transfer when we have this third layer so for this the formula q2 is equal to delta t upon summation of r so delta t summation of r here will be three resistances first resistance is for brick b1 upon k1 a second resistance b2 upon k2 a that is for gypsum layer and third is b3 upon k3 into a so this formula already we know so now what we do we put the values on this or in this formula so in this formula by putting the values now we can have q2 is equal to area into delta t this area will be common from the denominator and will come here so here area into delta t here b1 dimension 100 mm means 0.1 here thermal conductivity of brick this is a dimension of gypsum this is thermal conductivity of conductivity of gypsum this is dimension of third layer and this is thermal conductivity of third layer so now as per the formula q2 is equal to 0.75 times q1 this is the second relation now what we will do at the place of q2 we can write this so in the next now we will have the calculation per so q2 is equal to the second part this is what q2 left side is equal to 0.75 times q1 okay but we have q1 is equal to in earlier step 4.42 area dt from this equation so for q1 we can write this so now we will write here is equal to 0.75 into q1 for that we can write 4.42 times adt this is the right side and left side this complete calculation here once again if we write this step in this case here we can this a into dt left side and this a into dt on right side it can be cancelled the remaining things that we can compare and here unknown is only b3 so by doing the calculation we find b3 is equal to 48.8 mm this is what your answer of the numerical we are asked to find thickness of layer of rockwell insulation so at the end of this session you can explain 
numerical on composite wall if you like this video please subscribe and share thank you